Hey guys, this is Jeremy. I want to show you the song Oceans from Hillsong, the latest United album, which is a really good song. Uh, okay, so we've got a few different chords. I'll just go through the chords and um, yeah, then I'll just run you through a few different rhythms, finger picking. This song's kind of got a lot of different stuff happening in it, even though it's got a very simple feel as well. So uh, we start with uh, B minor. So I'm playing it actually pointer finger, uh, fifth string, second fret, and then I'm also playing middle finger on the third string, second fret, and then ring finger on uh, the third fret, second string. So it sounds like this. I play all strings except for the low E, sixth string. Then there's an A over C sharp, if you, A over C sharp minor, if you've seen any of my videos, I use this a lot. Uh, and so it's, uh, I actually play this chords kind of sideways, I don't play it straight up like this. So I'm taking my middle finger on the fourth fret um, and fifth string. And then I'm also using that finger to mute the, the uh, fourth string. So, and then pointer comes over to third string, second fret. And then you bar these last two with the pinky. It's kind of a tricky chord. It took, takes a bit of time to get it, but just stay committed, you'll get it. So, and this, uh, this is barred on first and second string, fifth fret. So it sounds like this. Muted. So that's how that's. So we got our B minor, A over C sharp, minor, a D. That's just a normal D. I, I'm also playing a D2 a lot of times, which is just taking the middle finger off. And then there's an A and A sustained, so there's a few different versions of A I'm playing. One is just down here, all three fingers here on the second fret. And it's just open. You're sustained, all you're doing is moving your ring finger up here to the third fret. Still playing it open on the top, bottom, not playing the sixth string. Also another version that I use of A is like this. It's like sliding your F all the way up here. So you take your ring finger and this is on the seventh fret and the fourth string. And then this is on the sixth fret, um, third string, and then uh, fifth fret. And we are on the second string. So it sounds like this. You play the open A and then So that's your A, uh, and then there's a, as well a G. I like playing my G like this, I usually don't include the... Sounds a little too country for me. So I once again am just amusing, everything's on the third fret, and uh, I use my middle finger to mute this fifth string. So... So those are the chords, uh, I don't think there's anything else in there. There is an E minor as well. So... That's in the uh, alternate bridge progressions. So it's just uh, uh, fourth and fifth strings on the second fret. And then I, a lot of times, like adding my pinky here on uh, this one right here, which is the first string, third fret. So it sounds like this. Okay, so let's run through this. Off the start, it's very open. If you are gonna play, which I would suggest you don't, and you just let the keyboards do their thing, uh, but if you are going to, just like open strumming. I wouldn't even use a pick to keep it, like you don't want it this sharp. Uh, intro starts on B minor, so it goes to a D2. So it's B minor, uh, so it's like one, two, three, on the four, you switch over to the A or over C sharp minor, then to the D on the one, to the A to a G, but once again, leave that for the keyboards. Uh, same in the verse, it's like, uh, I would do the same thing. You call me out upon the waters, the great unknown, Mer or sorry, or feet may fall to the G, but I'm just, I'm really accenting these right now, but I shouldn't be. More like that, just a thumb nice straight through. Back to the B minor. There I find you in the mystery. So A over C sharp to the D. 
uh, to Oceans Deep, to the A. I like that A up here. And then my faith will stand on the G. And then you can come in on the chorus. Once again, just whole notes. So it's just um, G, D, A. So it's... I will call upon your name. And I'm, so I'm going G, D2. And then the A sustained. So it goes. I will call upon your name. Back to the G. Keep my eyes above the waves. The A, A sustained. Um, ocean. Um, and it goes through the same thing. Uh, my soul, uh, my soul rest. Um, my soul will rest in your embrace. This is where it changes. For I am yours. G, quick passing. A, B minor. And when that B minor starts, it's a little turnaround. It goes to the intro progression. Um, and there's a bit of like the drums and guitars are kind of doing some offbeat different things. I would just stay consistent right in the middle. You don't have to. You can kind of do a Mumford and Sons thing if you want, but I'm just keeping consistent to keep just a nice beat. So, and I am your. Sorry, I played that bad. B minor. Now this is where it, um, I'll do a picking pattern in here and it's pretty, it's not super intricate, but it's just. Um, sorry. Just had to remember it. Okay, so it starts on the B minor, still the same chords. B minor, A over C sharp to the D, uh, and then the A, and then to the G. So it's, I'm, I'm going. Um, why can't I get it? So what you're really focusing on there, you're basically getting the root note, which is the lowest note in the chord, and then you're focusing on the third, the key note is really that uh, third fret, uh, second string, this one here. You're really using those strings, and once in a while it opens up, but you're going... Sorry. kind of following that feel in there. Um, and then it does uh, a feel in the chorus, which is you can really feel that tambourine and, and stuff going through. So it goes. So it's going, you're, you're accenting the one and the three and. One, two, and three, or sorry, the and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. That's what you're really focusing on. Focusing on. So, and I'm doing downstrokes. So it starts on the G D A. It just loops that. Okay, basically with the bridge, um, it goes a lot of different directions. There's a lot of different chord progressions uh, that it eventually gets into, but um, the first time would just be Spirit, lead me where my trust. and you're to the G, 
uh, just whole notes. Probably the first couple times would be not even guitar in there, uh, but it depends how your band wants to do it, and it depends how uh, our band even chooses to do it too. So um, you basically just go through those chord progressions, but it's the B minor to the G, to the D, um, to A sustained. Uh, and it loops that, and then the alternate progression, bridge two, uh, they just do it once, is to the G, to the D, to the A, sustained, to the E minor, uh, and then it has, uh, the third progression is B minor, and then on the four, fourth uh, beat in that first bar, you play an A as a passing chord, so it's B minor, passing chord A to D, then bar of A and bar of E minor, so it goes, the, the third time would be to an A, to an E minor, but that'd be driving. All depends on the feel, the strumming pattern. You just got to figure out what the band is actually going to do in there. If you want to keep to what they're doing, it's really open. But uh, I'm sure a lot of I'm sure it's going to build in a lot of cases too. So, okay, thanks for watching.